Morning, everybody. Mike Nemec here with some early morning grain and oilseed comments for Friday, November 21st. Well, after yesterday's rally, we didn't see much in the way of follow through buying in the overnight session. Actually, we got the wheat market now down around five cents, the corn market down around two cents, the bean market's been mixed, maybe now it's a little bit on the plus side, up around two. The meal market down around 50 cents, soybean oil market up around 35 points. Once again, it is a Friday, the end of the week. It's been mostly a defensive wheat, except for the soybean oil. For the week, we have wheat prices down around 15 cents, the corn down a dime, the bean market pretty much unchanged, maybe down a nickel, the meal market down 10, and the soybean oil market up around 75 points. So the big mover has been the meal oil spread. There has been a lot of news going on around the meal market. The meal market has been providing most of the support to the trade in general and the soybean complex in particular and for the soybeans. But there's been a lot of news breaking down of late for the soybean meal. And we'll see how that uh, news continues, most notably what the basis levels have been doing as we try and rebuild our meal supplies from last year's short crop. And at this point in time, we continue to see a little bit further overnight weakness in the meal basis levels. As far as other news goes uh, in the overnight, uh, not much. Uh, China came out with some uh, October uh, trade uh, numbers, nothing really too uh, um, highlighted there. We have some financial news where China and the EU are trying to stimulate their economies. Um, other than that, uh, probably the other feature today will be the option expiration of the December uh, contracts. Trying to pin strike prices may be the objective of the marketplace. And even though yesterday's news wasn't all that uh, um, glamorous, the strength in the market may have been more related with the mechanics of option expiration more than anything else. We may have an EPA ruling coming on out to go and refine, uh, ref uh, uh, refinalize what the mandates for biofuel will be for the uh, coming year. We'll have a cattle on feed report also out after the close, along with the commitment of traders report. As of now, we still see the trade holding a modest net short position in the wheat while being long corn in the soybean complex. So once again, we are on a little bit of a bounce in the uh, markets uh, from the October lows. We still think in general the supply and demand tables are non-bullish both in the U.S. and in the world. And as it stands right now going forward as far as forecast and um, uh, crop conditions and conditions go for the uh, South American uh, uh, soybean and corn growing season, there are things down there look very conducive at this point in time. Thus, a sustained rally is pretty much not in the cards as far as uh, in our eyes. So once again, those are my opinions, not that of ADM or ADMIS. Thank you.